This is for sure a bad look for Sharif O'Neal and Julian Newman. Now, I never thought I'd be putting these two in the same video, but they recently both were in a celebrity game. I gotta be honest, once I saw this footage, I don't know, things are not looking the best for both of them. Now, to start off the bat, normally when people play in these celebrity games, and not all, but a lot of times the people that are in these types of games are people that have a name, but really are just not the best at basketball. If we're keeping it a buck, a lot of times the people who have really interest and capture the media are not always the most and best talented players out there. Sometimes they are. I mean, you got NBA players playing in celebrity games occasionally, but for the most part, you know, you see people like Zaire Wade in celebrity games and of that nature. So what does that tell you, man? When I see somebody like Sharif, who you know, a lot of people are in the opinion that he might actually be solid coming up. And then Julian Newman, who of course, man, I'm gonna be honest, he probably has the most haters in high school in high school basketball period. People do not like him. I think it's safe to say it's over. Now I was looking at Sharif O'Neal and wondering, I see him dunking the ball, playing pretty well. And I'm wondering, of course, they don't play defense in these celebrity games, but how is he doing overall? I mean, he looks pretty tall, he looks pretty athletic. You know, what are his numbers actually looking like? Now, if we take a look at his G League stats, He's playing around 15 and a half minutes per game, only averaging less than six points. And that's definitely not looking good for him. I would think somebody like him, who of course is pretty tall, bros around 6'10", 220, and is athletic, would be able to make more of an impact in the G League for sure. But then I take a look at these numbers and I'm really wondering, man, what went wrong with his career? Now, I know a lot of people are gonna come in the comment section talking about, oh yeah, he had his heart surgery. At the end of the day, man, I think we've given him enough years to say and pretty much be able to come and be able to really recover from that heart surgery. I don't wanna sound non-empathetic. At the end of the day, man, eventually, if you wanna take basketball serious and make it to the next level, you got to get over that heart surgery and be able to really get your game back and focus on the current and on the now. And what I see with Sharif O'Neal is I think he's just one of those cases that rushed to the NBA a little too early. And a lot of people were wondering about this. Now, he really didn't perform too well in college. But I mean, overall, you just take a look at him. He passes the eye test. Now, with that being said, his father even wanted him to stay in college for another year. But Sharif just wanted to bet on himself and put his name into the draft where of course he went undrafted and is now playing for this NBA G League Ignite team. Now, do I, do I think he has potential? I mean, with the height and athleticism for sure, but is he getting it done and is his career and really his future projections looking like he's gonna be like that in the future? I think not. And a lot of people are even mentioning the fact that he's probably only here because of his father, which man, that is tough. Now, if you do enjoy these types of videos, man, feel free to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you want to stay up to date on the latest high school, college, and even NBA basketball news in the spot. So like the video and subscribe to the channel now. Now, I will say about Julian Newman, I think we all known Bro's career has been over for a minute. I mean, you see then this first clip, Bro is basically playing against a dude, another midget here that's basically his height. And Julian, I mean, Julian was scoring the ball. I think this is more his pace. He, again, is more of a celebrity hooper than he is an actual hooper. And there is nothing wrong with that. But when you try to portray and lie to the media about you getting college offers, this and that, man, people are definitely not a fans and for sure are not going to be rocking with you after that. At the end of the day, man, I see Julian Newman. It looks like he made a YouTube channel and is out here posting a little bit. I'm going to be honest, man. Things are still kind of looking slow for bro. I would have thought his YouTube channel would have skyrocketed by now, but seems to be doing just okay. I mean, I don't think he's posted too, too many videos. And overall, man, I think this is the route he needs to go. He's playing in, I believe, some type of creator league where he's playing against other people like T-Jazz, probably Cash Nasty, all of them, Chris White. So he is making moves in the spot, really just trying to get his game up, get his bread up and use his name. And I think that's what you got to do. No hate to Julian Newman. Bro could dribble. But overall, uh, the competitive game of basketball was just not for bro. Now, if you do enjoy these types of breakdown and updates, you won't want to miss this video on the screen because this right here is wild. So click the video on the screen now.